Hi everyone, this is Miss Miharo. This is gonna be part six or five, <laughs> I think six, uh, from my Commander Kino guy, and it's gonna be all about ant tears. Uh, first up, we have uh, back one. Back one is a great ant tier. Has a huge uh, like vertical hitbox, and also a horizontal hitbox as well. But I find it most useful for jump ins and not cross up uh, cross up jumps. Uh, so, like, if you see them jumping from far away, trying to jump your knives or whatever, it's a really good tool, and you get a full combo. Ugh. Thirty-one percent for an anti here. It's pretty decent, but like, if it, it's not, it's not bad for cross-ups, but you can end up like. Uh, sort of whiffing or getting stuffed. So I don't think it's the best for cross-ups, but it's amazing for sort of uh, long-range jump-ins, as you can see. And you can juggle that and end with 2-2 two, two, uh, two, two command grab. Uh, 3 is usually <coughs> the magic number. <coughs> there we go. So... <coughs> I'm sorry, my throat is really uh, acting up. Uh, yeah, uh, that's the back one. So that's I would say that's your go-to, uh, your go-to uh, ant here, especially if you want like a combo off of it. Um, it's really consistent. It's really good. Uh, other down two is probably your best ant here for all occasions, like if you just panic, oh shit, they're jumping, just down to you. Even if they do something like a jumping kick, you can usually stuff them. Super fast, super reliable. It's not the best versus cross-ups, but it works as well. And sometimes you will like uh, do it too soon and they won't uh, they w won't have crossed up or you do it too late uh, you get punished but it's super consistent and it's probably your best ant here like all around best ant here but for cross ups if you want like a full combo standing one is really really good did you see how high that hits like I can do it pretty early and still uh, get him out of it, and that's sub series jumping one, which is notoriously hard to uh, ant here. Uh, I'm doing it too late. There we go, and you get a similar combo to uh, the back one ant here. You get slightly less damage, but that's really nothing, nothing to like worry about. Oops, I dropped the ender. You get like 29 percent or something. There we go. Oh, 30. So he lose like, what, 1% or something? Uh, and it's super consistent. It will anti here a lot of attacks. Um, <clears throat> so that's uh, a really, really good option. You can also, like, go for the neutral jump punch, but it's not... It's not the best, uh, but it works at times, like if you read a jump or something. Oops, I did it too soon. I read it too soon. And then you get a full combo, and I dropped it, of course. Because so, I'm trying to show off something. Ugh. Ugh, and I messed up my inputs. Anyways, you get the idea. New jump punch, back to you, back to you. Let's just do it this way. Oh, come on. There we go. 31% as well. Uh, so that's that's more for like uh, reads or um, if you just happen to be in the air <laughs> with a jump. Another good thing, uh, like what I like doing is I like to harass them with knives and such. And when they start jumping, uh, like I jump backwards a lot with Kano. And then bam, meet them in the air with uh, Kano Ball. So that's just like uh, another option that you have. Uh, then you have your special moves uh, uh, and tears. Uh, let's see. 
Let's go for champion one. So you have up ball. Pretty good. You can't get stuffed out of it, and you don't get like super a uh, good amount of damage really. Uh, the good thing is that you can armor it for like those really really late. Uh, uh, when you're really late on the ball, or like if you're expecting maybe a jumping kick, and you go like uh, you armor through it to get through it. So ex up ball uh, and up ball are both really good options when you really need the end here. Like if it's a close around situation and you're, you're like, I need this punish. I just need a few percent. Just go for the ex up ball. Uh, up ball can be stuffed if you do it like. Uh, Oh, never mind. Well, it can be stuffed, uh, and sometimes you will even get full combo punish for it, but not usually not. Usually you'll trade, and you'll send them full screen, and you'll get knocked down, so it's not bad. Um, then we have two more options. Uh, we have my favorite one, which is, which is Choke. This is uh, Sub-Zero's jump in three on a cross-up that, that I can consistently end here. You see how it just snags him out of the air? Oops, I did it too soon. Let's try it with it like a jump in. You can do it pretty early and still beat them. Oops. There we go. Now I got the timing. And the thing is, you can sort of use it like a whiff punish. Uh, let's see if I stand over here. See how I catch him on the way down? Like. I make a whiff. Maybe that was grounded, but um, you can definitely use it for stuff like that. You can st stuff uh, Kotal Khan's jump in one and stuff with uh, choke. It's really good. You just have to find like the sweet spot, which is not doing it too late, and not doing it too soon, and like finding uh, when it works. It's super good for those uh, whiff jumps, but it's also really good for cross ups. If you do it really early, it will always beat them, no matter what. And I'm using like a uh, subs jumping one, which is, as I said, notoriously hard to anti here. But, oops. This is it. It can be done. So then you also have EX choke, like similar situation to uh, EX up ball, where if you if you're late on your anti here, you go for EX choke, you take the hit. And uh, you deal 18% damage, which is really nice. It, it's also like, if they do a jump and kick, you can try to eat the hit, but you have to sort of time it in a weird way, because uh, since the uh, armor eats the kick, then they get sort of pushed back and stay in the air. Uh, so you can whiff it with some bad luck, but usually you get it. So this does also deal more damage than... Uh, the EX Apple and you get a more favorable Oki situation. So, if you're gonna armor through an attack, uh, this is actually better. But EX Apple is slightly more consistent since it doesn't have the issue where if you take the hit, uh, they get sent back and you won't like uh, hit with the actual uh, EX choke. So, the last option this is more of a what should I say, like an option select for worse jump-ins. Like, Sub-Zero's jump-in 1 will beat uh, your down 4, because it's Sub-Zero's jump-in 1. Oops, I did that really soon. But since uh, your down 4 low profiles, uh, you can do uh, like an option select. Let's see if I can get it to work. Nah, it's not gonna work with jump-in 1. Let's try jump-in 2. I know, know Sub-Zero's gonna use jump 2, but you get the idea. Uh, See, I can make a whiff with uh, my uh, my down four, and the idea is that you can make the jump in whiff, and maybe like try, try to catch them on the minus frames, uh, make a go for a whiff punish or something, or just like some pressure when they land. But you can see my inputs that I'm option selecting choke, and this is because uh, this doesn't happen too often, but you might as well do it. Uh, that's what I'm getting at. Uh, if I put you on just jump in without an attack, 
Which no one is going to do, but people have, uh, other characters have worse jump-ins than Sub-Zero. There we go. There's the option select. You get 13% damage if you get the down 4 to combo into choke. Which is not that hard if you actually, uh, if you time it right. And why I say this is sort of an option select is because if they land and block, you get uh, a down for it to choke, which they sort of, they can neutral duck it, or they can armor between, but I don't think uh, you're going to get punished too often for going for a uh, down for choke. Uh, as they land, say they do a jump in attack which whiffs, you check them with a down four, uh, and then they're going to be ready to armor. Uh, that's not going to happen too often. And like the point is not to catch them as they land, but to actually catch them in the air, like that. So it's like it's it's not the best, but against some jump in attacks, you can really like abuse your down four to go under it, and then if you hit them, you get a nice chunk of damage, and and if you don't, you just whiff the down four, which is safe, uh, considering they just whiff the jump attack. Uh, so yeah, that's I'm gonna put you off jumping because it's annoying. Uh, that's it for uh, ant tears. Um, I mean, there are some other like niche stuff you can add here with standing four. You can add here with with uh, what's this called? <laughs> standing two. Uh, standing two is kind of interesting because it moves him forward a lot, so you can sort of uh, make stuff whiff. But it's not very good in recovery, so it doesn't really work out that well. You can also, of course, like run under and whiff punish with one one two or whatever. But that's uh, that's not an anti air. That's like a whiff punish, so it's not really the same category. Um, yeah, I mean, you can add here, like, with forward four, but it's not super consistent. So I try to, like, pick out those which I find are more most consistent and when to use them. So I hope you have some use for this, and I'll see you next time. Bye.